A morning process is what you need every single morning. That is literally medicine. It's what you need every single day to put you in a state of creation, to remove yourself from yourself, unblock you, because you're in your own way. At least I am every single morning. I'm naturally, I naturally get anxious. I naturally um, am lazy. I naturally get in my head about things. And I need to do things to get out of that state. And some people are blessed. Some people are blessed out there. Like I listen to Alex Hermosi and he just gets up and starts working. I, I literally can't just get up and start working. I wish I could. I wish I could, man. For me, I have to go through a process in the morning to put me in a state, to put me in flow state and get me feeling good, get me feeling ready. And it's just it's just the way it is. And for me, I have to, I get up in the morning, you know, I'm up by like six, been getting up around six here and there now. I jump in my ice bath, do a workout, do some pull-ups, going to run right now I haven't been able to run as much because my knees have been kill, absolutely destroying me but I'm going to going to run do some pull-ups do some deadlifts you know hit a freaking solid workout feel good then have a cup of coffee and then I'm in state and then I'm feeling good I'm rocking and rolling it doesn't take that long it's maybe like an hour but yeah, I mean, people call it a disadvantage, but you just have to know you and be self-aware enough of how your mind works. And, you know, I naturally lean towards anxious. I naturally lean towards being in my head. And I have to know how to battle it every single morning because at the end of the day, I want to be able to create. I want to be able to showcase my thoughts and I have to get over myself. I have to self-transcend and it's a process of becoming when I wake up in the morning I become the man who I admire by doing the daily actions because the man that I would look up to is the man that that, that would do those things and that is successful that has you know a ripped body is in shape that's the man that I would look up to and then also the man that isn't afraid to speak his thoughts and be vulnerable on camera that's the man that I would look up to the man that I would follow and say that it's okay to have bad days as long as you continuously get up and keep going, right? And those are the things that I want to embody. So you become the man that you admire and you gift that man to the world and that's what you do every single day. And it's the process of you becoming the best you every single day in which that allows you to share and put yourself out there. And that's what God is calling you to do. God is right, calling you to rise up. Be the man. Don't be afraid of him. That's what God is calling you to do. To embody and integrate. And the way that it does that is by telling you, go this way, do this. You don't really want to be here. You want to be over there. And it's that voice that's guiding you. And that voice, you know, told me to quit my nine to five job. And ultimately, it's been a beautiful path of spiritual development and personal growth. And then that led me to learning sales and it led me to living in Colombia for four months. Now I'm back in Austin and it's been a beautiful spiritual journey, but you have to be willing to listen to the voice, the voice that's calling you up, the voice that wants you to become that man. And it's your choice whether you listen to it or you decide to shut it out. And because more than likely that voice is telling you to do something really uncomfortable. So can you live your life 
and incongruence to your conscience? Or are you going to live a life of conscious congruency in spite <clears throat> of the uncertainty that you may face? The ups and downs that you may face, the lessons, the uncomfortable lessons that you may learn. Because these lessons right here are what is teaching you how to become the person that you want to be. And so, do you choose to listen? Do you choose to lean in with love? Or do you reject it with fear and remain comfortable where you are? That's the choice that you face each and every single day, each and every single moment. Those are the choices that you face. The choice of love or the choice of fear. And that's really it. So, leave you with that in this beautiful Tuesday morning. Have a beautiful day.